I'll never forget Brian when we were at a lunch in 2013 with um, with Mandela, and the elders didn't know that it was the last time they'd be with this great leader before he passed later in that year. And I remember they were sitting at this lunch. I was sitting in the in the back along the side watching them, and there was just this laughter and this joy, but these tears about where the world was. And then at the end of the lunch, you had uh, Nelson Mandela just stood up, and he was way into his 90s at that stage, and yet still had more grace and stature than any human I'd ever met. And he um, he stood up and he slid his left hand slowly into his amazing wife Grasses and they uh, they turned gently to walk out, out of the room. And before he left the room, he turned and looked at this group of friends, these elders that he had that were sitting at the table that he had brought on board. And he just smiled at them and his eyes and his smile lit up the entire room. And if it, it was as if he was saying, you've got this, you've got this now. And then he turned gently to walk outside, the, to walk out of the room. And I just always remember that moment because I, they've never let him down. They've worked, you know, we thought we were going to get like two days or three days of the elders time per year. And they give hundreds of days of their time and they're continuing to do this work in friendship. So I, I think the biggest success is these friendships that have been formed that allow that continuity of impact and momentum ongoing for hopefully generations to come. 